The darkness of the never-ending abyss surrounds me, making the bright stars stand out against the dark backdrop. The air is thin, but it fills my lungs like concrete. A slight noise echoes around me, a quiet chime that makes me startled. Another chime fills my ears, another creature standing before me. Except this time, it's several feet ahead of me, looking much more apprehensive. The chorus of chimes can be heard, and after a repeated sigh, the creature closest to me turns and runs away. Its bony legs carry him. I shake my head and blink a few times. What was that? The one legged phantom. Shadow the worm. are known to be quite naughty. <laughs> and even though they are small, they are very mischievous. <laughs> they eat very small stars and space waste. <laughs> Plutopians enjoy dancing and swimming in the Plutopian lakes.
There was once a planet, far, far from where we live. Planet Global was its name, and there lived a family of aliens. It was a purple planet with lots of craters. If you lie on the cold, rocky floor, looking up at the dark sky, you would see blazing gold shooting stars fly over your head. Nearby is a planet whose orange surface is so hot it could boil a freezing pot of water in seconds. And around the whole planet is a cold, rocky ring. The alien family lived all alone on planet Global and were happy. The son's name was Gobble. He was green all over. His teeth were bigger than the horses and his eyes were high above his head like a snail. He had dark green spots all over his tummy. The daughter's name was Globsley and she had orange skin with yellow spots and a yellow curly ponytail on her head. She had one big eye in the center and yellow freckles and yellow lips. Mr. and Mrs. Globel have been together for eons. Mr. Globel has blue skin, a blue moustache and three eyes, two up high like his son and one in the center like his daughter. His wife, Mrs. Globel, was pink with big red lips, pink curled hair and a big eye, just like her daughter. And instead of driving a car, they ride on a shooting star. So when you see one, wave a hello, because it just might be them passing by. <laughs> I've heard on the other side of the universe is a little planet called Earth, with the strangest creatures of them all. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>